Hi there. My name is James Newton. I'm uh, an instructor with Sally Ride Science, and uh, we're going to have some fun with this stuff right here. This is Instamorph. Let me see if I can adjust my camera so that you can see that just a little bit better. I have it kind of propped up on the foot of my robot there. Oh, I don't know how well this is going to work, but we'll see how far we can get with it. So Instamorph is a thermoplastic, and uh, that means thermo just means that it, it melts when you get it too hot or when you get it hot enough. Um, it's just like hot glue. So have you ever made anything with hot glue? You know, the little hot glue gun and you pull a little trigger and the, the, the melted glue comes out the end and then after a little while it sets up and gets hard and holds all kinds of stuff together. Have you ever burned yourself with a hot glue gun? <laughs> Most people who have used a hot glue gun have, have managed to burn themselves at some point. Um, the nice thing about this uh, Instamorph is that it's a thermoplastic just like that, but it melts at a temperature that won't burn you, uh, which is really cool, right? So you can hold it in your hand while it's melted, and you can even mold it and uh, make stuff out of it and just have a lot of fun with it. Um, and the really great thing about a thermoplastic is that you can remelt it as many times as you want. You can just keep reusing it. So you can uh, go ahead and make something with it and then put it back in hot water, get it hot again and it'll melt and you can make something new out of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this stuff. Now this is the big um, jar. Uh, you can get smaller amounts of it. You can buy a bag of it for I think it's uh, like $16 or something like that online. You have to go online and search for it in order to find it. But I really recommend having some of it around. You'll have so much fun with it. About a teaspoon is good for most small objects. I'm just going to put that in there. I don't know if you can see, but that's the, uh, that's the little pellets. Here, I'm going to hold some of these up in front of the camera so you can just see what I'm talking about here. See, they're just these little pellets. And they make them into the small pellets because that helps it melt faster. So what I've got is I've got a little teapot over here with some hot water and I'm just going to pour the hot water in and what you'll see is that the little pellets will melt and hopefully I'll get it up there in time that you can see that happen. They'll turn clear in that hot water and when they're clear that means they're melted just like with hot glue, right? Have you ever noticed how hot glue turns clear when you melt it? So now what I'm going to do is just use this big strainer spoon to pull this out of here set this over here so I don't knock the hot water over and burn myself. And then I'm just going to shake the extra hot water out of it and go ahead and mush it up in my hand a little bit. It's kind of toasty right now, but once you get it, once you get all the hot water out of it, can you see how it's clear? And look, I can mush it. How wild is that, right? It's got about the consistency of a gummy bear, I guess. And uh, what we've done is we've got a bunch of molds here and we can use those molds to mold the plastic. So uh, just as an example, here's a really fun one that we made. Um, it's a, a kind of a skull. Now it's white, so it's a little bit hard to see, but we made this mold for a skull uh, for Halloween. And here is a little um, octopus that we made with little red eyes painted on there. And you can make all kinds of different shapes. You know, here's a, here's a little heart, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so here's the mold for the skull. See how that is the negative of the one that we're actually gonna make. And uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some LEDs in it. LEDs are just little lights. And the LEDs are gonna make the eyes light up, which is just a heck of a lot of fun. So I've got some LEDs here and these are available online. Um, a company that's local that you can get them from is called Adicor, A-D-D-I-C-O-R-E.com. And they uh, will ship locally. You can also buy them from, you know, online. They're very inexpensive. And then what you want is a little coin cell to make the LED light up. Now what you'll notice here is that, here's the LED. I want you to see the little glowy part. This one happens to be green. They come in all different colors, right? Um, and what you'll notice is that the leads are slightly different in length. See, the one on this side is a little bit longer than the one on this side. And that means that that's the positive lead. The positive lead is always longer with electronic components. So that's your electronics lesson for the day. 
And now if you look at these little coin cell batteries, these are uh, CR2032s, they're three volt lithium, that's what you want. You might be able to see, I'm not sure, that there's a plus sign on one side. See there, right next to my index finger? And then on the back side, there's, there's nothing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this between the two leads so that the plus sign touches the long lead. Now what you'll notice is that the light lights up. Cool, huh? So now we're gonna combine all of this together. We've got our thermoplastic, we've got our, um, our mold here, we've got our LED and our light, and we're gonna actually put two LEDs in for the eyes and then we're gonna make a glowing skull. Here, let me get some shadow on that so you can see what I'm talking about. So what we did is we just pushed the LEDs through from the back, and then we put the long leads on the same side so that we could get the, both of the long leads on the one plus side of the battery when we pushed it in there between. And then the eyes light up, and you make a cool little skeleton. And we've done that with some of the other molds as well, like. Here's a little octopus that we made that all lights up. And then what we did is we went back and we used a marker to uh, fill in the little bit of sand between his toes there. You can kind of see it better with the light off, but it also looks pretty cool when it's glowing like that. So you can do all kinds of fun things. See how his eyes, Ooh, you probably aren't gonna be able to see that. It's not showing up on the camera. Well, maybe it does a little bit. His eyes have little red dots on them and the little red dots kind of show up. Um, we've also done some stuff with the, with the natural relief or the, in other words, the pattern that's on the mold where you can just rub it with a pin. So here is, uh, and just a little preview of how these molds are made. This is a 3D printed um, pyramid that has a bunch of uh, like different shaped holes in it that are you know, like in hieroglyphics or whatever. And then we made the mold from that. And I'll get into how to make the molds in a minute. And then here is just pushing it in and putting an LED in the back of it. But then there, what we've done is actually colored in the, uh, the, the plastic. And it doesn't show up very well on the camera, but it really makes a cool effect when you're looking at it just on the ground. Okay, so I've got this melted bunch here and I'm gonna go ahead and go through the process real quick and show you how to do it. So we'll take out the, the melted lump. And I was just keeping that hot in the hot water so that it would be ready. Um, and I'm just gonna take this and I'll go ahead and push it into, uh, let's see, which one are we gonna do here? Let's just do a, a, let's do something simple. Let's do a heart mold. So here's the little heart mold. And you can push it in there. Now what you wanna do is we don't wanna like push it in right in the center and like and dish it out. We want it to be mold it up around the outside and kind of take on the shape of what it is that we're molding. So like you'll notice that the top of the heart is right there. So what I'm going to do is kind of try to help the back of this lump here follow the shape of the heart on the outside, right? So now that I've got that nice big lump coming up here, I'm going to go ahead and grab my LED and I'm just gonna hold it right behind the head. You don't wanna hold it like back here because then when you push it in, you might bend the leads because they're pretty thin. Just hold it right behind the head and just take it and push it in just like that. Push it down in there far enough that it's not gonna come back out. And then you can kind of just push the plastic up while it's still melted in order to uh, hold it in place, right? And now, now that I've kind of got it formed the way I want it, I could just let it sit in there and let it go ahead and, and cool down. And as it cools down, it'll change back from this clear to a kind of a milky white color. But I wanna go ahead and pop it out so it'll cool down a little faster. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze the mold ever so slightly and that'll help it release. And then I'll just go ahead and pull it out. Now this is really soft and delicate still, okay? And um, what I can do if I want to is I can actually go ahead and form that a little bit more while it's still melted. So for example, if I want my heart to be kind of tall and thin, I can just sit there and gently pull on it with my fingers. And this is really fun to do with the skull, by the way. You can get that, uh, that kind of that 
mask from Scream, the movie. Um, and, and then what we'll do is just go ahead and put a battery on it real quick. What you'll notice is when this lights up, it, the light's going to come right through it because it's still clear. So you'll see like just the LED inside the clear thing, but it won't stay like that. Here's what that's going to look like once it hardens up. This is a heart mold that was done before eh, with a different color, but whatever. You can see that it, it distributes the light a lot better all the way around. So, okay. Um, what am I forgetting? Oh, how to make the molds. So one way to make the mold is to not make the mold. You can buy these. Um, so for example, here's a couple of spider and web things that we got for Halloween. Um, and the thing about it is you want to try to get one that's pretty strong. They have different kinds of molds. Some of them are for uh, like chocolate um, and those tend to be really thin. So here's an example of one. That, I mean, this just has no strength at all to it. It's very thin material. Um, and what's going to happen with that is that when you try to push the thermoplastic in there, it's just going to deform the mold and you're not going to get a mold out of it. But what you can do is you can mix up this stuff called ugu. And this is also how you can make your own molds. Ugu is really simple. It's just 100% silicon caulking and it has to say 100% silicon on it. This is like $7 from the hardware store. And you mix it half and half with cornstarch, standard good old cornstarch. And what happens is a little bit of the moisture in the cornstarch uh, is mixed in with the silicon. And then what that is, is that the, the moisture is what causes the silicon to set up. So you, you mix it together like you're kneading bread dough. You've all made bread, right? <laughs> so what you do is you, you put a bunch of cornstarch on your hands so that this stuff doesn't stick to it very much. And then you just fold it in. You just keep folding it and then pushing it down and then folding it and then pushing it down. And you want to keep a lot of cornstarch on your hands so it doesn't stick. And then over time, you'll get more and more cornstarch in there and it'll start to look like dough. Um, and then about 20 minutes later, it'll set up. So what you can do is you just take the bottom of a little solo cup and you, you cut off the bottom of a cup and you can take your really weak mold and push it down into your, um, into your ugu. That's O-O-G-O-O -O -O if you want to Google it. Um, or you can just take your object, whatever that happens to be, right? Like this little 3D printed piece. And then you can just push it in there like that in the bottom of the solar cup and just leave it and let it set it up. And then you just kind of peel the mold back around the corners, pull out your original piece, and now you've got a mold that you can make more with. What am I forgetting? Oh, did I tell you that you can reuse this stuff infinitely? Like you can take any one of these little guys and just um, put it back in hot water again. And the cool thing about it is it'll melt from the outside in. So you'll see the inside will still be solid but the outside will be um, uh, will start turning clear. So you can get the basic shape that you want early on, um, like if you're sculpturing something, and then you can go ahead and change the, um, uh, the, the outside details and the outside surfaces. Be really careful never to leave these inside your car on a hot day because they'll melt into the carpet and you'll never, ever, ever get them out. Ask me how I know. Uh, and I think that's everything I wanted to tell you. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you have a good time with this. You guys take care.